This is SBC News. Good evening. The Cabinet of Ministers has approved amendments to the Penal Code on Hate Speech. Those are amongst several decisions taken during yesterday's Cabinet meeting. Dahmed Afif noted that hate speech is already a crime under the law. But under the amendment approved by Cabinet yesterday, it becomes more serious if it is linked to another offence related to it. What we've approved is that hate speech, hate speech is also a factor that will aggravate an offence. So hate speech is already, hate crimes is already, uh, has, there are provisions for it in existing law. What we're saying is that making hate speech will aggravate an existing offence under the different laws that exist, Cybercrime and Other Related Crimes Act, under the Penal Code. It can be proven that hate speech was the cause of these crimes. Other issues discussed during yesterday's cabinet meeting included a decision to provide new homes for people affected by pollution at the power station at Bissetan. Vice President Afif said some homeowners have been offered new homes at Marijan Estate. What uh, we understand from PUC is that uh, possibly up to 15, but they are working out the numbers. Not everybody has expressed full interest to move. Um, the government is offering them in exchange for the existing property, which is within a demarcated area around the power station. The government is offering, the government is offering them a plot of land and a house which is built at government cost up to 1 million rupees. And the area that's been proposed for that relocation is Marijan Estate. Regarding the allocation of land policy, the Vice President said applicants need to meet the 1.2 million rupee criteria if their applications are to be considered. He said the criteria will ensure the system is fair. Criteria set because you need to have a fair system short of which it would be discriminatory because there's no criteria. It depends on the whims of whoever wants to allocate. Not having any criteria makes it discriminatory, whereas having criteria makes it very clear and transparent. So the reason there is a peg at 1.2 is because there's been several pegs from previous years, and we're talking as far back as 2017. There will be changes in the policy for the home saving scheme. Some of these changes will include the minimum contribution that people should make towards the scheme. The minimum contribution will now be 5% of the applicant's income after tax rather than 150 rupees. Applicants who miss three consecutive monthly payments or a total of six monthly payments per year will be categorized as non-active and will not be eligible for housing allocation. The Minister for Lands and Housing, Billy Ragasamy, says that ultimately the government wants to encourage people to keep investing in their future home. It's a revision that took place at the back end of 2023. Uh, it took us three years to analyze the situation of the number of applicants we have, those that are, have been active, contributing, achieving their contributions as per the policy then. But unfortunately, they were not getting much further with their app application. So government took a decision to analyze the facts and figures and uh, re-emphasize the importance of driving sustainability in the housing program um, and also driving responsibility, encouraging our housing applicants to do everything they possibly can to contribute towards their, their home, eventually their shelter, their home. And that requires uh, uh, an active participation, active contribution, we're not asking for much, we're saying if you put 5% aside, it's going to be for your own home eventually. The Seychelles National Alliance Party, SNAP, has suspended two of its executive members. They are the Secretary General, Godfrey Emita, and Vice Chairman, Cyril Lauti. In a letter which the President of the Party, Vincent Pariashi, has sent to the Electoral Commission and copied SBC in it, he stated that their suspension is in line with Item 7 in Article 7 of the Party's Constitution. 
to note Article 7 of SNAP's Constitution is on party leadership and Item 7 of this article states that the party leader may be removed from office at any time by an extraordinary convention called for that uh, purpose. The Department of Environment Science Research Laboratory at the Seychelles University is now more equipped and ready to welcome more researchers, scientists and students for research. They can now make more tests in different areas such as the environment, maritime, uh, amongst others. This is now that the laboratory has undergone refurbishment under a SECAT grant of 1 million Seychelles rupees. We approached uh, these partners and we explained to them the concept and uh, they were happy to come on board because they had found a way of uh, contributing to the blue economy. So, for example, uh, MCB is uh, facilitated. We apologize uh, for this mistake. We'll continue with uh, the news. Uh, the Seychelles uh, Coast Guard, in collaboration with the French Army and other maritime partners, uh, is uh, participating in the first oil spill exercise in case such an eventuality occurs in Seychelles waters. Uh, the exercise is being held at the Coast Guard base on Perseverance Island. The COE Garden Project is expected to be completed by the end of May. Work on this project started in October last year and has now reached its second phase. After this process is complete, members of the public can use it for their leisure and relaxation activities such as exercise, yoga and others. The LWMA will also put in place facilities such as the benches, bins and others for use by the public. Those are our main uh, stories so far this uh, Thursday evening. Join me again at 8 for the News in Creole. Bye for now.